Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are halfway through our fifth year of homeschooling. Today, I want to talk with you about Matthew C. Alpha. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As you, many of you know, we have a kindergartner and a fourth grader. This is our third year, third year? Yes, our third year of using the Math You See programs. We have now used five, yeah, I think five different levels of Math You See. If you are not familiar with Math UC, it is a program put out by the Demi Learning Company. And while I do focus here on secular curriculum choices, the Demi Learning Company is not a secular company. But the Math UC program, I have not found it to be um, either secular or non-secular because it's math. Uh, in one of the videos for the um, Delta level that my older daughter is using. In, in one of the videos, it is referenced um, just a kind of a common passage from the Bible, but not even like cited or, you know, chapter verse written out. So just a disclaimer there. We do really love the approach of Matthew C. We found it very valuable in our homeschool um, and it works very well for my girls. So it has been a wonderful addition to our homeschooling lives, something that I was not aware of until we did switch over to Timberdoodle when my older daughter was in second grade for her second grade year through to now, we've used the Matthew C programs. So if you're not familiar, Matthew C is kind of a multi-sensory approach. What they do is they actually um, give both a teacher's, a, like an instructor's manual a kids or a student workbook, a DVD where you can um, have Mr. Demi teach the lessons to your kids, which I find incredibly helpful. I am at that point support staff and not the person in charge. And I love that, especially with math. And as we're progressing into harder and harder maths, mom's all about this life. Um, and then it also has, they have um, a block integer counter set that is specific to their program. Um, and it all works in conjunction. Uh, the block set, one of the things that I do love is that the block set is specifically for this program because you learn the color means the block, like how many, like a seven is always this color and things like that that do help your children kind of work through the program a bit easier. The blocks on the pages match up to the blocks that they have in their hand. So that kind of integration, I do love very much and I feel like it's been very helpful. Um, I do like that we can watch the video. There are more learning resources available online, which we have hardly used. However, when we purchase the package that we, pa that we purchase, um, it includes the online access. So we have enjoyed it. I'm going to show you today how we're using Alpha, but just a couple more things about the Math UC program. It is mastery based, which is not the norm. The norm is a spiral method. And what that means is we touch on it a little bit, and then next time we touch on it a little more, and then we touch on it a little more. Instead of the mastery approach, which is what Math UC is, where you learn all of addition. You learn all multiplication. So this past year with our fourth grader, it has been a little bit different, uh, the third and fourth grade year, because most public schools are a spiral approach, whereas Matthew C is a mastery approach. So we have actually, for one of the first real times, completely divided from the public school norm. So while my daughter's friends are learning a little multiplication and a little division at the same time, she was learning all multiplication. So the division didn't come to her until this year. So it is a little bit different, which does give you a little bit of like, are we okay? But we are okay. And the way that they take the approach is stunning and fantastic. And we greatly appreciate it. Again, in our homeschool, it works very well for our daughters. Now, Let's talk specifically about level alpha. I am using level alpha with my five-year-old who is in 
kindergarten. And that is because we kind of went through the math that we use that Timber Doodle kits include um, for pre-K quite quickly because it was very basic concepts that she already had some experience with. And because of that, we went ahead this time last year at the holiday break and moved on up to Matthew C. Primer. And again, that is just very basic, very, it touches on just a few things because it is meant to be a kindergarten or foundational math, just exposing just little bits um, of a lot of different things to your children. We went through that quite quickly. Again, it's concepts she was familiar with. And so now we are into alpha, which is um, single digit addition and subtraction. Now, my daughter is age-wise as kindergarten, um, but this is a first grade level math course, essentially. It, I don't think it necessarily corresponds exactly to a level, but like if you went through it in the right order, it would be first grade. Now, because of that, and because she's a summer birthday, so her birthday is halfway through June, uh, so she is a young kindergartner anyway. Uh, so because of that, and because this is a, essentially a first grade curriculum, there are some things that we have kind of done to swap up a little bit the way that we are using the Alpha program, because in all honesty, I feel like um, while she understands the math concepts and can get there, some things are just not necessarily developmentally appropriate. Some of the things she's being asked are not necessarily developmentally appropriate um, because she's five and a half and not six and a half, which theoretically she would, would be where she was at. So it is um, easy enough to kind of modify those things. So because of that, my expectations are a little bit changed. So I am going to swap over and downshoot and show you the things that we're doing and kind of walk you through how we're doing it because it is a five-year-old doing a little bit more of an advanced math curriculum than what you would normally think for a five-year-old. So because of that, I do wanna walk you through and really show you um, how we're using that. Of course, guys, as always, what I'm talking about is linked below. Let me know if you have any questions because I know that this is a little bit kind of a weird, kind of a weird take on this. So let me know if it's not clear. I will do my best to um, reiterate or to go a little bit more in depth. Um, as always, you can find me down in the comments or over uh, on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So feel free to reach out if it's not clear. So let's hop over and I'm gonna show you those things. Okay guys, so here's everything that we're using for kindergarten math or the uh, Matthew C level alpha. These are not by Matthew C, but they are the wrap ups and they just help them practice their math facts pretty easily. We have addition, subtraction, we actually have all of them, but these, they use these. If you can see right here, it actually shows them if they've gotten it right or not as they lace it up. Super fun, I remember playing with these when I was little, so they're so fun. Okay, so we do have the DVD. Um, you just plug it, oh, it's not popped. You just plug it in and then you can select your lesson. Super easy. The lessons are all like five, seven minutes. I did purchase a box. I have it linked in my Amazon store because it fits these little puppies pretty well. Um, so it's got all of our kind of different things in here. I've got some, all the blocks. And then I've got the laminated cards that we made with our last uh, level to learn place value. So we have our blocks here and she just opens this up, it tears up and she'll use them as she needs to. And she knows which one is which color by now because it's important for them to memorize that as part of the program, it helps them. So we do have instruction manual, student workbook and the tests. Now, if you guys have seen any of my other Matthew C videos, we do not do a test for every lesson. I do do the test for the units. So the unit test, the next one will be after lesson 17 and it'll cover everything up to that point, lessons one through 17. And then there is a final exam at the end after 30 lessons. All of the math UC programs that I've used so far tend to be 30 weeks, 30 lessons long. Even the final exam only has 30 questions. So it's not, you know, too long or too hard. Now, the, uh, the, Workbook and the tests are both pretty basic. There's not a lot of color. It is very simple, kind of large print, black and white. Now the instructor's manual, I don't use very often because it's just, I mean, addition and subtraction. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Uh, but the 
way that it's spelled out in the instruction manual is the same as on the video. So if you need it for more reference, and then there are some more resources um, in the appendix and the answers are in the back, which is very important. So those little things definitely make it worth adding, um, having the instruction manual. Now let's go through the student workbook and I'm going to show you what I've been doing now. Some of the things that they've asked of her are not necessarily, in my opinion, developmentally appropriate because there are some things that she can sit down and do on her own. But what I have found, like, for example, here where we are saying we're reading the number words and then writing them in. She can't read the word problems well enough on her own yet because she hasn't fully grasped reading on her own. So I do help with that. Something else that I have done, started doing, is that the, some of the sheets. So if we, for example, lesson 15A on Monday, Mom and Me Monday, we will watch the lesson together, talk about it, make sure she grasps it. Then we will do, and I do the same exact thing with my older daughter, we will do A, worksheet front and back. There are seven worksheets for each lesson, not including the tests. So we will do like lesson A, front and back. Now lesson A, B, and C are all lesson practice. So it's specific to the lesson you're learning. And then D, E, and F are systemic review, systematic review. So it's everything that you've learned up to that point. So it's more of review of the other things. And then application and enrichment is 15G, uh, which tends to be like coloring and just kind of other fun stuff that it's still applicable, but it's just a little bit more entertaining. So we always love G. But what we'll do is we'll do A, front and back, on Tuesday or our second day of the week. And then we'll do C front and back on our third day of the week. And then we will do E and G on our last day of the week. Uh, G just because it's fun and she wants to do it. So we're doing every other, unless we just need a ton more help and then we're doing every one. Something else that I have started doing, let me pop over here and I will show you not so much on the lesson practice, but definitely on the systemic or systematic review. I have started because when she looks at this page, it's hard for her to stay engaged with the whole page to do it on her own. So I'm having to do a bit more handholding um, because it's just so many things. So instead of that, what I started doing, I'll rip this one out and show you. What I have started doing is instead of handing her this page just like this and just like this, because I mean, front and back, this is very intimidating. I have started folding it, okay? So I will fold it into quarters. So I will only give her about three. I will give her just this page, just this. And once she's done this, we'll move on to the next three. So by folding the page, it just works better and seems to be a bit more manageable for her. So folding the page down, I do the same thing with the tests, uh, is working pretty well. Now, again, she is a five and a half, she's a young five. So something that I found, especially with the tests, I do I have her? I don't have her other tests in here with me. But what I will do is I will fold it down and I will just give her one page. So I will take an entire week to do the test. We will just skip our math lessons that week and we will do one page a day. I still do it in a manner like I'm not helping her, um, especially not unnecessarily helping her. I'll help her like if she needs to read or whatever, but I'm just giving her one page a day because expecting her to sit down and do four full pages of a test is again, I just don't think developmentally appropriate. So we are modifying in a way that makes it success successful for us. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. Be sure uh, to let me know down in the comments or over on Instagram, just let me know if there's anything that I can further explain if this didn't cover it all. But as a whole, we absolutely love the math UC programs. I did go ahead and find her test. Um, as you can see, there's lots of scribblings and not necessarily the best handwriting, um, which is another thing, you know, when she's writing out every number to hundred, sometimes that can be really daunting for her because it's just exhausting with her, you know, her penmanship. 
Um, lots of extra scribbles, but you can tell where I folded it down to try to help us have a bit more success. And I really do, I really do think that it helped an absolute ton to just kind of wrap it up some. So you can see a handwriting gets really sloppy the longer it goes on. But again, she's five. So I feel like I've metered my expectations and not trying to, you know, not trying to win everything in a day. She's ahead of where she is and she's young. That's just good enough for me, okay? It really, really is. Guys, I hope that you have found this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you have, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you coming back. Let me know if this does make sense. Um, share with me down below, are your kids on grade level? Or are they ahead? Or are they behind? Like, how does that work? Because again, with the Math UC program, it does kind of branch out a little differently. And so it is, it is a little bit less um, of that kind of secure factor as far as like keeping right on trend with their, uh, their public school peers, but that is okay. I am all right with it. Uh, guys, thanks again. Thanks for coming back. I hope you enjoyed this look at how we're using the Math UC Alpha program.